My lips are raw from scrubbing off three different lipsticks that are supposed to be all day wear, but I only wore them for a couple of minutes each. I'm not sure if it's the lip stain at this point or if my lips are bloody. Hello and welcome back to Achieve Wolf Collection. Or if you're new, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on. Did you all know about the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon and Maybelline New York makeup? Did you, did you, did you? Of course you did because you follow me everywhere on social media where I keep you all up to date on new Sailor Moon releases. I even provided links where you could order the collection directly. But hey, if you didn't know, that's okay. Make sure you're following me on one of those socials down there below so I can keep you in the loop about new Sailor Moon releases. So the collection was revealed at the end of February 2021. They stated six products were going to be released in Japan in April, and pre-orders would begin on March 1st, 2021. In this video, I will be showing you guys each of the six products released in detail, as well as the unpackaging of these items, and my try-on and opinions of the products on me. Yeah, I'm already wearing some right now. We're gonna talk about that here in just a bit. But before all of that, let's go ahead and look at all of the products in their package. So here's how they arrived. I just removed it from the shipping box and it was just shrink wrapped like this inside of the shipping box. Unfortunately, these are sold just in Japan. So don't expect to see these in USA drugstores. However, you can order from Amazon Japan. They can be shipped internationally. All you have to do is create an Amazon Japan account. Amazon Japan is separate from your country's Amazon. So to use Amazon Japan, you do have to create a brand new account through them. It's very easy. So if you want to get these for yourself, check out the links in the description below to each of these products on Amazon Japan. I'm going to go ahead and cut them open. <laughs> so these also arrived really fast within days as they were shipped by DHL. And DHL is an express service and it was actually pretty affordable too. I paid 15.80 yen which is about 14 US dollars. Not bad for Japan to the USA. Oh, that's a rubber band. Here's the packing slip showing all the prices I paid for each of the items. They were each 1,500 yen or less. There's where I said I paid 1580 shipping. I paid less than $100 for all of these items shipped from Japan. Here they are. Let's talk about the mascara first. We'll remove the little Amazon sticker here. Here we have the Lashinista Sailor Moon and Maybelline New York Mascara. We got Sailor Moon Silhouette with the Crystal Star Compact in the background. It shows us what the mascara tube will look like once we remove it from this package. Here is the back of the package with a lot of Japanese on it. This collection does feature the Toei Animation sticker on all the products, so these are officially licensed and this sticker proves it. The next product is the Hyper Sharp Eyeliner. I'm really excited to try this one because eyeliner is something that I wear a lot. This one is interesting because it features a Sailor Moon Season 1 silhouette and the transformation brooch in the background. So we have Season 1 and Season 2. That's kind of cool. So it's not just one season related. Got some details down here. It's supposed to be really thin. So just like it says, hyper sharp, you're supposed to get some precision lines out of this eyeliner. Here's the back, also featuring the Toei Animation sticker. So the next items are lipsticks. These are called Super Stay Matte Ink Lipsticks. And all four guardians are made for this collection. So the first one naturally is Sailor Mercury. Now I want to point out this is not a package. This is actually the tube of product. So this isn't a box that we have to open up. This is the actual tube of product. So it's only sealed by some stickers here. We've got this sticker right here and then this transparent sticker holding the cap on. It's got very nice printing on this product though. You can kind of see the raised lettering here. Mercury looks really good. There's her symbol. Got the Toei animation sticker here. And then Sailor Moon is also featured on the bottle as well. So this color is called SM170. That's, I guess, their inventory name for it. And down here it says Initiator, which I'm not sure if that's the name of the color, but they did state this color is like an adult cherry rose. So I'll show you guys later how it looks on my lips. Here is Sailor Mars's tube. 
Again, that beautiful printing that they have on the bottle. We got the Toei Animation sticker there, Sailor Moon right there, so just exactly like Sailor Mercury's. This one is SM210, 210 versatile. They describe Sailor Mars's color as a milky brown. So we shall see. Next up is Sailor Jupiter, my favorite guardian, my favorite Senshi. There's the Toei animation sticker, same old, same old, Sailor Moon right there again. This one is called SM135 and it says Globe Trotter. Sailor Jupiter's is described as being a mode brown, which I'm really interested to see how this one will look on me. I don't normally go for browns, but hey, I am open to anything. We'll give it a try. Last but not least is Sailor Venus, the Guardian of Love. Now it is an interesting choice that they chose to do red for her. I really thought that they would make this one Sailor Mars, but they didn't. So I guess they're going for her red bow color. I don't know. Same type of packaging. You guys expect to see Sailor Moon right there. This one is SM118. And on the bottom here, it says Dancer. And they state this is a glamorous classic red so it is red why wasn't the sailor mars i don't know i think it's time to open it up it does have an easy tear thing but i kind of want to save the packaging for my collection because i'm a collector and i'm crazy so we're just going to open it with scissors at the top here oh my gosh wow it has an odor coming out of this bag <coughs> oh god <coughs> Ooh, don't stick your nose in this. That's some chemicals in there. So there's the packaging. I'm just going to flatten it out and store it with my other flat items in my collection. Oh my gosh, guys, it is beautiful. Look at this hot pink ombre to black. Isn't that cute? Very fingerprinty because it's glossy. But here we go. Lashinista. Endless length obsession. Got a gorgeous silhouette of Sailor Moon up here and a crescent moon. And then on the opposite side, we have a Luna! Little moon kitty witty up here. So this mascara claims that it can come off with hot water, which I'll definitely be trying that later. Here's the applicator that does have a slight curve to it. And that is the Lashinista Sailor Moon and Maybelline New York Mascara. Next up is the Hyper Sharp Liner we're gonna open up and there isn't anything easy to tear. You actually open it up from the bottom here. Ooh. Again, I will flatten the package and save it for my collection. Collectors be crazy, we save trash. No judgment, okay? So the eyeliner is not one of the ones you shake. We do have the exact same symbols on this one as the mascara. So we have Sailor Moon over here and then Luna on the opposite side. Yeah, that's it on the liner. I would have never bought this if they didn't put Sailor Moon on it. So they got me. They got me with Sailor Moon. This is how they get our money. But who doesn't want Sailor Moon on their makeup products? It just cheers you up, I think. Let's go ahead and take a look at the liner. Yeah, this looks good. This looks just like my other eyeliners that I like to use. Super sharp tip. Let's draw on me and see. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this is gonna be good. All right, let's do some swatches with this stuff. Here's the applicator at the end of it. Ooh, and it smells absolutely wonderful. Woohoo! All right, swatch number one. I did pretty big swatches so you guys can see it real good. This is Mercury. There's Mars. Damn, these smell really good, guys. So floral and sweet. I'm pleasantly surprised with how Jupiter's looks. It's actually more of a uh, like red color than a brown. Very pretty. God, these all smell different and they're wonderful. Venus's is super red. I am still fucking shocked that that's not Sailor Mars. So we have Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus in order as they appear in the anime. Which one do you guys like the best? I'm actually really loving all of these colors. I can't really say which one I like the best. I am typically a pink and red girl, but this uh, neutral pink and this like red brown, I'm really interested to try, which we're going to go do a try on right now. So I just got done putting on the Sailor Mercury lipstick and I also put on the mascara and the eyeliner. Let's talk about the eyeliner first. This was the product that I thought that, well, I'm probably not gonna like it because I'm kind of an eyeliner snob. I have to have some really good precision because I like to do winged eyeliner most of the time. And right now I'm using Kat Von D's tattoo eyeliner. I really like that one. So I did not go into this thinking that this one was going to be even close to the one that I'm using now. I was wrong. This little eyeliner was sharper than my Kat Von D tattoo liner. Who would 
have known. So I freaking loved this Maybelline eyeliner. Fun fact for you guys, I have never used any Maybelline products before. So these items were my first Maybelline products ever. But consider me impressed with this eyeliner. It's better than my $20 eyeliner. I kept going like this because my current eyeliner, you have to shake it to get the pigment flowing and uh, this one you don't. There I was like this trying to get it going and I'm like, oh, but yeah, really like the eyeliner. Shocked that I like the eyeliner. Ooh, I just went cross-eyed there. Let's talk about the Lash Anista Mascara. I'm on the fence about this one. I kept going back and forth. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Well, I don't like this about it, but I also kind of like this about it. The applicator is a lot thinner than I'm used to. The mascara that I typically use that I continuously rebuy is Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I really, really love that one. And the applicator is a, it's a chonky boy. It gives some big, bold, beautiful lashes when you use it. This is the opposite of that. So for this one, I feel like it really coats each lash instead of just like throwing a lot of product on the lashes. This one pinpoints each individual, individual, ugh individual wow that didn't even come out right individual lash <laughs> and so it makes each one of your lashes coated now with my other mascaras i just feel like the product just gets thrown on there and it creates fake lashes that you don't even have but this one i feel like does a good job at coating the lashes and keeping them each an individual lash if that makes sense in that case i liked this i felt like that kind of gives you a different look for your eyelashes if you want to go like a more subtle look and i think that's the word that best describes this mascara it's a subtle mascara so for the top lashes i feel like it didn't have that bold coverage that I'm looking for with a mascara. Now for your bottom lashes, I feel like this is a miracle product. So as I said about the top lashes, I feel like it coats each individual lash really well. That's what you want for your bottom lashes, in my opinion. Remember, I am not a makeup channel, I'm not a pro at makeup, so I just want to put that disclaimer out there, which I should have probably put that on the beginning, but I didn't. Here it is now. I just do makeup for fun and this is strictly just my opinion. But I thought this worked really well for my bottom lashes and I can see myself using this for my lower lashes whenever I do a full makeup look. But iffy for my top lashes. I feel like I would continue to use my Better Than Sex mascara for my top lashes and apply some falsies. <laughs> Still, this bottle is really cute and I appreciate that it's, it can stand up flat whenever you are in between applications. So I like the bottle a lot. So the Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick that I tried first is the Sailor Mercury one. And I will say this is a color that I would buy. This is like my normal colors that I tend to be attracted to is this like pale pinky color. So my color. So I love the Sailor Mercury lipstick as far as the color goes. I haven't worn it all day, so I can't say how the longevity is on this. However, I can tell you it was hard as hell to get off the swatches from my arm. So I can safely predict these will be long lasting if it took several products to get it off my arm. And then I didn't even get it completely off my arm. It done stained it. I want to go try on the Mars one next. So here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, I just put on Sailor Mars. What do you think? So hers was described as a milky brown and Mars and Jupiter's were the ones that I'm most anxious about because I don't normally buy brown lipstick. I think I'm kind of shocked on how much I liked the Sailor Mars color. Don't know if this is actually a Sailor Mars inspired color. I do like the color on me. Let me know down there in the comments which lip color you think suits me the best because you know how sometimes you think you know what color looks best on you, but then somebody else will have a completely different take on that. And I'd love to hear your guys' take on which color of these lipsticks you liked the best on me. Mars was like an introduction into the brown colors of this collection because Jupiter's is the most brown. So let's go try Sailor Jupiter's next and see if I end up liking that brown on me too. Just got done trying on the Sailor Jupiter lipstick and I am over scrubbing my lips so much to try to remove the previous lip color. These are hard to remove. Oh my God. Like I'm sitting here like scrubbing my lips really hard to try to get the lip color off. I bet you these will last all day because my lips even had like a slight stain to it after I removed the lipstick. So 
dang. I can't believe I like the Jupiter color because when they first came out with these and they showed us the promo images, I'm like, I hate the Jupiter color. That's not going to look good on me, but I can actually see myself wearing this again. So I'm not disappointed in the Jupiter color. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the Sailor Jupiter brown color. It looks a little bit more red, doesn't it? I'm not sure how it's showing on camera, but in person, it looks like it's got a lot more red in it than brown, which I love reds. So I'm down with that. As far as being a Sailor Jupiter color, I don't know what they were doing by picking these colors, but I'm just talking about what I think of them on me. So the next one is going to be the Sailor Venus lipstick. And since that's going to be the very last lipstick that I'm going to be applying today on this video, I'm going to do the mask test. I'm going to probably destroy a face mask with this hard to get out lipstick. We'll see how it goes in just a second. Sailor Venus, everybody. Wow, that's red. <laughs> it is definitely a classic red color. It's like blood red. <laughs> so since this is the last lipstick out of the four Guardians, I can safely say I'm a fan of all of the colors they used. Not necessarily because of the Guardians they chose. I mean, let's be real. They just slapped some Sailor Moon characters on regular color lipsticks. These don't have anything to do with the Guardians on the bottle, but I do like the lipsticks. Like the colors and the formula are really good. They know how to get us. All they gotta do is slap a Sailor Moon character on their already made bottle and they know people like me and people like you are gonna buy it. Hi, I probably need help. Thank goodness most people watching this video understand <laughs> because y'all are my people. Y'all just understand what us Sailor Moon fans and Sailor Moon collectors go through on a daily basis. Okay, let's talk about the bold claim that Maybelline has said about these lipsticks. They have claimed with this image, these lipsticks can be safely worn under a mask. Now, who wears lipsticks when you're wearing a mask? I'm not sure, it's never been me. I always make sure I wipe off my lipstick if I even put any on before leaving the house. However, no judgment if that's what you do. And if these lipsticks pass the test, I may do this. I may start wearing these lipsticks under a mask. So for this mask test, I do have an officially licensed Sailor Moon mask from Japan with the Cosmic Heart Compact on it. I'm waiting for that one person to say, why is everything Cosmic Heart again? Because that was so funny. People who are familiar with me and familiar with my content, my channel, just me as a person in general know that I am obsessed. Obsessed! <laughs> with the Cosmic Heart Compact, and that is one of my collection focuses, are items with the Cosmic Heart Compact. Anyways, let's get to the mask. I'm really nervous because look at how clean the mask is right now. So nervous. I'm about to ruin this mask. Let's see. First of all, I don't even feel like my lips are even coming in contact with the mask. Let, let me let me breathe in a little bit. Let me suck some air in so I can get the mask closer to my lips. One more time. I think that the lipstick has come in contact with the mask enough from that. Let's find out. Nothing. There is nothing on the mask. No transfer whatsoever of the lip product to the mask. Dang. I really expected something to transfer, especially with this bold red color. There's not even any transfer when I touch my lips and I was just pressing with some force there. Let me see. Damn, Japan! They've done it again. So they claim that you can wear this lipstick with a mask, and so far the claim has uh, checked out. I'm going to test this in the wild for real. Next time I go out, I'm going to definitely wear one of these lipsticks under a mask, and I will report either on my Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook if it still checks out like hours of wearing a mask. So make sure you guys are following me on one of my socials if you want to stay up to date on that latest development that's coming soon because the weekend is almost upon us and I do know I have to go run some errands. So I'll be wearing my mask a lot and we'll try one of these lipsticks out. That concludes the lipstick try-ons. I liked them all. I didn't like scrubbing them off my lips in between try-ons, but I did like all of the colors and I liked the formulas. They are very nice lipsticks. I'm impressed with the quality actually of all of this stuff that I tried today. The mascara is a little iffy, but other than that, I love the eyeliner, love the lipsticks. I think I will be using these products a lot in the future. 
I gotta know, which one of the lipsticks were your favorite? Let me know down there in the comments which color you liked the best. Because I know a lot of you out there were actually disappointed in the color choices for the matte lipsticks. They did seem a little bit dull and odd to choose for a Sailor Moon collection of makeup. Why Sailor Mars wasn't red, I will never ever know. Who picked the colors for each of these guardians? But being serious, I do want to know what you guys think of the entire collection down there in the comments below. Did you get these items for yourself? Have you already tried them? Did this video convince you that you gotta have them? Let us have a discussion about this down there in the comments. Especially if you've worn these for like a couple of hours, I'm really interested in knowing the longevity of this stuff. I mean, they do say the Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks last all day. I'm very curious if there's any truth to that. And the mask claim is so bizarre, but now I'm kind of interested to try it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please do me a favor and hit that like button for me to show your support for the channel. Check out my links down there in the description. My private Discord community, Ochi's Pack, is also still accepting members. We're almost to 50 members now. That is insane. So consider joining us if you want to be a part of a tight-knit community where we just talk about anything. It's not just Sailor Moon stuff. We have topics all over the board. I'm also selling stickers now. If you want an Ochiba Wolf sticker created by the amazing Blossoms, click my buy me a coffee link down there in the description to check my stickers out. Okay, I said stickers, but it's just one sticker. Buy an Ochiba Wolf sticker and support the channel. We got a little wolf howling inside a cosmic heart inspired compact. It's Ochiba Wolf, it's an Ochiba Wolf sticker. Don't mind me, don't mind me. I'm just really proud of that one sticker and Blossoms did such a great job. If you need any logo work, please check out her website down there as well. But that's it for today, guys. If you have time, please watch another video. I've got a lot of amazing videos on my channel and more on the way, so don't forget to subscribe. Stay awesome, folks. I appreciate you all so much. Hey, I'm not done yet. I've got a bonus question for you to answer down there in the comments before you leave. Which makeup collection did you like better? The ColourPop makeup collection or the Maybelline New York Japan collection? Let us know down there in the comments. If you had to pick one, which one would you go with? I would pick the Maybelline New York one only because these are actual colors I use. I use eyeliner every day, I use mascara, and I love all of the lip colors of this. The ColourPop stuff I just don't use. I don't use the eyeshadow, I don't use the glitter, I don't use the lip gloss that it came with. In fact, I, I didn't really like the lip gloss. Did not feel right on the lips, but that's just me. I know everybody's makeup choices in life are different, so let me know which one you prefer. I have been walking up and down the stairs switching lipstick colors. I'm tired and uh, I'm tired of being blind. I love you. You are the best eyeliner in the world. I'm going to put you on a pedestal in between my fingers. Seriously, this eyeliner is awesome. I really believe Venus and Mars should be each other. That is like a missed opportunity for matching a Sailor Guardian to a lip color. I'm not gonna let that go. I'm not gonna let it go. And there's gonna be somebody out there I know that says, well, hey, her bow and her hair is red. Yeah, 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 it is. But Sailor Mars's fuku is all red. My hair is so crazy today. It's very, very long and wispy. I love when I get new makeup, even though we can't really wear makeup because we still wear masks. But now we got these mask approved lipsticks. So the lipstick game is back on. <laughs> oh, silly Willy. Oh, silly Willy. Bye guys.